Looking forward to it. The Northeast Outdoor Sports Show coming up on uh, Saturday and Sunday, May 20th and 21st. And uh, with that in mind, uh, we're lucky enough to have Jay Gruen in studio, who's uh, you know from Saugerties. Jay, thanks for coming on the show. My pleasure. Thanks for having and, me. Appreciate you coming by. And uh, if you don't know, uh, Jay is a part of a TV show that uh, runs on the FYI Network. Correct. Uh, Unplug Nation. Correct. And that basically is... Um, you know, unplugging, when you hear the word, I know at least now in, in 2017, you hear unplugged, you think of, you know, technology. Correct. And, you know, a lot of the folks that are that are cast for the show, these families that really want to get their get their lives a little bit uh, less technical. They want to, you know, get the kids' faces off the uh, tablets. And right. They want to, you know, get them outside and moving around. Um, they want to have a connection to their food, which is how I got into the whole scene. Yeah. Um, I just, you know, really wanted to know where my food comes from. We have such a disconnect. And I, I love speaking to... A grand audience about that mm -hmm. now because it's kind of a resurgence right now. You're seeing a lot of it. You're seeing yeah. folks with backyard chicken coops. You're seeing people in our city, Detroit, Brooklyn. Jay, you have no idea about the chicken coops, man. My, I, we just bought a new house, and my wife is uh, she very uh, into the organic scene. Uh, sure. We have a CSA with uh, one of the local uh, Ober Creek Farms awesome. uh, in Wappingers, which we go to you know every week and get our and get our vegetables. And uh, she says, you know, we got a couple of acres on the house that we bought. And she, the first thing she said, we got to get a chicken coop. That's awesome. I'm that's, like, what? That, that's the way it should be. Honestly, yeah. um, you know, we used to call homesteading just living. Like right. life. Everybody had chickens. Everybody grew food. Right. You know, we had a connection to where our food came it was from. Life. It was our backyard. Yeah, really. Now, you, you know, to, to modernize it and to kind of give it, you know, a spin, everybody's calling urban homesteading or contemporary homesteading, you know, which is great. I don't care what you call it. As long as you get out in the backyard and start growing some food right. or get out in the woods and start hunting, which is why I'm talking at the uh, Northeast show. Yeah. Because that's another thing we have a disconnect with is going out and, you know, we have this beautiful natural area we live in, the Hudson Valley. Mm -hmm. Deer, turkey, bear, striper are running right now. Yeah. That's all like the foraging for mushrooms I and love, all that stuff. I love this time of year on Facebook, too, because I got a lot of friends that are fishermen and seeing the pictures of their stripers. Oh, I'm yeah. guilty. I, yeah. You know, we post I love every, every time we go out on the boat, I'm yeah. putting the pictures up. You're proud of it. You <laughs> yeah, should be. Exactly. Right? Yeah. And, and what's great about it, too, it's not, you know, I'm not a trophy hunter. I don't, I don't you know, have anything mounted on my walls or right. anything like that. It all goes in the freezer. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're not out hunting or fishing it, we have, uh, if you don't have enough space to raise a cow or dairy goats, you know, you, you have another farmer raise it out for it. You pay and, it, and you, it, yeah. you have a cow now. Yeah. And you butcher it and now you have meat. And you know where that meat came from. You know it was ethically raised. It was, you know, ranging freely or if it was chickens and not in a big factory coop. Right. And you know what? Uh, Jay Gruen, again, he's going to be a part of the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show with us coming up May 20th and 21st at the uh, Dutchess County Fairgrounds. Uh, Unplug Nation, uh, obviously the TV show. That uh, you know, we're excited to. Uh, you, you're you, you have another season coming up. Yes, correct. We actually have uh, season two is filmed. It was uh, they aired three episodes of season two, and then they put us on hiatus till September because okay. you know TV is a business, and yeah. uh, so they put us out uh, till September, and then. Uh, we're pretty highly rated. We got a lot. I was going to say that means you're popular. Yeah, we, <laughs> and we have a, we have a good following, and it's worldwide. You know, yeah. it, there's nothing to blow your mind like when you see yourself come up on on a trailer for an ad, and you're you're talking, but it's like some Spanish dude's voice speaking right. Spanish. Right. Or you, it's crazy. Or, you know, or yeah, yeah, getting yeah. dubbed over. Yeah, yeah, getting getting dubbed. But it's uh, it's pretty interesting because I get emails from all over the world now, mm -hmm. people asking about how to grow food, and that's so exciting because as a guy who loves to educate and connect people to their food. Yeah. I have this audience out worldwide. Yeah, you know, who would yeah. thunk it? Yeah. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, and you kind, know when you kind. watch those like documentaries, I know I watched like a food documentary in college, Scary. and it's terrifying, it's terrifying. where your it's food really is actually coming from. And that's what got me into it too, mm -hmm. because I became like it, it's a lifestyle now, but it's an obsession truly. Mm -hmm. um, because it was like a couple, like Food Inc., Farmageddon, yeah. you know. Fed I up. think Food yeah. Inc. was the one I watched. It, it was, it's, it's just terrible. But there's these pioneer farmers, these contemporary farmers like Joel Salton and all these these guys all over the country now, all over the world, really, that are getting back to that, mm -hmm. getting back to knowing where their food comes from and bring it to the marketplace. You know, the Hudson Valley is a hotbed for locavore and farm yeah. the table. And that's exciting because the small farmer can make a living and support a family again. That's amazing. You know, yeah. it's, it's not corporate. Right. And, and that is, you know, we have so many great, you know, areas in, in the Hudson Valley that that support agriculture and mm -hmm. that's that's a beautiful thing because now the money comes from the city and goes to farm to table right. and it's beautiful and it's going from the farm it's going from the table and the rest to the farm it's the funny because like people come up from the city thinking it's so like oh this is like hipster kind of vibe uh, going to a uh, farm and I'm just like yeah. I know but There's like word. I, I was at I went to plan B uh, farm and brewery mm -hmm. in Poughkeepsie and there was obvious it was like some sort of blog there with their big cameras like taking very artsy pictures and I was like 
Well, I'm here to enjoy this local beer. If you have a big beard and a flannel shirt, you can't start a chainsaw yeah. out of time. <laughs> <laughs> That's you know? a good way to put it. Yeah. yeah. Listen, I, and 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 if you you obviously can't see, we are videoing. We'll put the video and all the stuff up on the website for you guys coming up at uh, HudsonValleyCountry.com. Jay has got one hell of a beard. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's kind of a, got its own personality at this point. That's very. I cool. mean, I did see your website. You have one page dedicated. Yeah. To the beard. It's it always comes up, and it's so funny because you know the, the whole hipster community got real popular with the beards and the flannels, and mm -hmm. you know I had mine before that whole thing yeah. came around. Yeah. And, you know. And you don't picture I don't picture you going out and getting a pair of skinny jeans. I don't see. No, that. Yeah. no, no skinny no, jeans. No. Although I am wearing some pretty badass Chuck Taylors that are yeah, made by Woolworths. They got nice. flannel flannel Chuck Taylors. Yeah. Who doesn't want a pair those of those? Cool. Oh, very cool. But uh, again, Unplugged Nation is the show. Uh, look for that again to return with new episodes in September. Correct. It's also on Amazon, um, iTunes, and Google Play. All right. You can download that, obviously, watch and, uh, you know, support uh, not only your, you know, a local personality like yourself, Jay, but support your local farmers. That's really what it's about. You sure know, is. Get out there and do, uh, you know, if you do something this spring, try, if you've never gardened before, try it. Yeah. Give it a shot. I started it'll... last year. It was fun. I tell every person who starts a garden, you're eventually going to kill something. Yeah, you know? exactly. <laughs> it's happening one way or the other. Exactly. So, you know, just get out there and take ownership of it. Don't worry about it if you have a small space. Take up square foot gardening. You know, yes. you can grow a lot of food in a small space. Just Definitely don't be can. don't be scared. Just watch out if you try to grow strawberries because they go everywhere. Yep, they do. I learned that like the hard weeds. way. Like yeah. and that and herbs generally will yeah. spread like wildfire. Spread wild like water. anything. But uh, Jay's going to be again a uh, part of the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. Tickets available neoutdoorsportshow.com. Uh, great having you on the show, man. Thanks. Really appreciate you coming by. My pleasure. And uh, we'll talk to you again real soon. Obviously, we'll see you on the 20th and 21st up at the Northeast Outdoor Sports Show. Get all the details again, HudsonValleyCountry.com. I'll stop by and see you guys.